Eagles at Saints. Donnie, I see this line open at minus 7.5. I see it jump to minus 9, and I think, I'm going to jump on the Eagles right now. Now, I'm not going to. I'm going to take time, bang this out with everybody, but I just see this as a huge disrespect. Nine points. I know the Saints are playing great football, but nine points against the Super Bowl champions? Eagles are coming off a very bad loss at home. But this is still a good team with some nice pieces. You talked about the injuries in their secondary, and I look forward to hearing you talk about that more. But look at the weapons on offense. Ernst, Aguilar, Jeffrey, Matthews, Tate. I mean, they couldn't get a rushing game going, just 71 yards on the ground, but... I just feel like this is disrespectful. Yes, the Saints looked incredible against Cincy. Will they roll all the way to the Super Bowl? I love your Eagles breakdowns, Donnie. What do you think about me seeing this nine thinking, God damn, I want it. And I think you're right because sometimes you have to have a change of heart. I was joking last week saying, you know, they're going to beat the Dallas Cowboys this weekend, and then they're just going to get mopped up when they go down to New Orleans because – The focus for the Philadelphia Eagles before the Dallas Cowboys game is, look, we know we're going to New Orleans. It's probably going to be a loss. We're going to the Rams. It's going to be a loss. We just need to take care of our division because it's not very good. So at least if we beat them, we're supposed to lose to the Saints, right? We're supposed to lose to the Rams the way we're playing this year. And then we'll figure it out in the division. But I think roles flip and scripts change when you get beat by the Dallas Cowboys at home and now everybody goes, hey, they're done. Same thing I'm telling them. Eagles, you're done. Doesn't matter. Why even go down to New Orleans? It's an absolute wrap which is what they were telling the Dallas Cowboys before they were coming in to play the Philadelphia Eagles. Fire your head coach. Move on. This is ridiculous. Troy Aikman, any national pundit out there, was saying you're about to be served up into the Lions then on Sunday Night Football after you played on Monday night against a rested and ready Philadelphia Eagles team. Nine points is a lot. Let's not forget every single game this year, Jimmy, that the Eagles have played, they have been favored. Now they're going to be getting nine on the opposite side with no tomorrow. Buy low, sell high type teams. They don't even match up well against the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans should do whatever they want, but also vice versa. Carson Wentz, as long as Lane Johnson comes back, they're going to move the football against the Saints. Nine is a ton of points. Carson Wentz isn't going to roll it up down 21 in the fourth quarter and say, I don't feel like playing football anymore. They're still going to air it out. Nine points is a lot of points in the National Football League, and I like the fact that the Eagles lost because now they're not supposed to win this football game as opposed to beating the Cowboys and the role reversal is, all right, House money game here. Let's just go home and take care of our division. Now the Eagles are in that press mode, and that's a lot of points, nine in the NFL, Jimmy. It's a ton of points. Now, do you feel yeah. like the Eagles – now, we've got to hurry, and I, we're going to just quickly touch this a couple sentences on the last games, but do you feel mm-hmm. like with the injuries to the Eagles secondary that the Saints will just carve them up and with no – like, can you just kind of walk us through how the Eagles are going to handle this depleted secondary? Yeah, you're going to have to get out of through with the front seven. The front seven is going to have to be a lot better than what it was last week. Now, the one saving grace is maybe to get Sidney Jones back, the first-round pick from last year, to try to solidify that secondary. But we've all been here before. They lost Darby for the year. That's an absolute crushing blow. They're already down in the secondary. But when you're expecting coming into the football game as a player, you've played sports, Jimmy, where you say, you know what? Two guys just got injured. Hey, you, go play cornerback out there. And everything falls apart because the guy hasn't even practiced the plays. He doesn't even really know what he's doing. You're going to play inside instead of outside. Well, I haven't been there before. At least you have a week of preparation to come in and see what's what. That's going to help the secondary in that spot for the Philadelphia Eagles. But on paper, it looks like a really, really big mismatch in the secondary. So if you're trying to build a case for the Eagles to hang in there in the secondary, it's that guys aren't going to be thrown into positions they're not prepared for during the week, which is a disaster when it happens on game day. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.